welcome or welcome back. My name is Sophie and I do videos about weight loss, infertility, and lifestyle. I decided for a day to eat like Linda Sun, who is known for intuitive eating and healthy mindsets. If you are interested to see how my day went, please keep watching. I can confidently say that Linda Sun is known for intuitive eating and healthy mindsets and having a really good relationship with food. She is truly the first YouTuber to change my mindset in relation to food and how I perceive food. She really made me realize that I am more than my weight and that food can't really rule your life. Food is not the end all be all. So in true Linda Sun fashion, I looked at all of her videos and chose foods that really appealed to me. I didn't wanna just copy exactly what she eats in one particular video, for example. I picked a little bit from each video because I wanted to eat things that I really wanted so I could follow intuitive eating for that day. So I started off my day with honeydew melon, a food that I haven't eaten since I was a child and really never looked good to me until I started watching her videos and she eats it a lot and it just looks so, so good. So I decided to try it out for like a mini breakfast first thing in the morning and I actually enjoyed it. I remember not liking it as a child, but I really did enjoy it this time around and I feel like it's a fruit that I'll start eating more and more. So I don't know that Linda Sun's ever had chia seed pudding, but it's one of my favorite things and in true Linda Sun fashion, I'm eating what I saw in the fridge and really wanted. So um, I have chia seed pudding that I think I put to defrost a couple of days ago. Um, it's a chocolate chia seed, chia seed pudding. It is so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm talking about. I'll just freeze individual portions in the freezer and then A little while later, I was starving. So I decided to make some protein pancakes. Linda Sun used to eat pancakes, I think like every day from what I could see in her videos. I know that she has since switched to like oats and she's been preferring oats, but I know that protein pancakes are still a staple in her diet and I had to try out for myself. Now the issue was is that I had no protein powder in my kitchen and I didn't know that I could make her pancakes without it. So I ended up scouring the web for another protein pancake recipe and I made that one and I just feel like it's probably not as good as hers. It was okay. What made it better though was definitely the things that I put on top. So I ended up putting almond butter instead of peanut butter because almond butter sits better with me. And then I also put chia seeds, hemp hearts, cooked down blueberries and maple syrup and it was actually really, really good. So I did enjoy it, but I feel like Linda's pancake recipe would probably be a lot better. You know, it's not the end of the world. So it wouldn't be a Linda Sun related video if I hadn't eaten popcorners that day. So I had some popcorners. I think it's like the aqua bag. They're basically, I think it was like the sea salt kind. And I've since started eating a lot of popcorners and I really love the sweet and salty, which is in the red bag. And those are amazing. It's something that I eat a lot and it's just a great snack and go-to for me now. And I'm really happy that she kind of put me in that popcorners groove because I did used to eat them in the past, but I had it in a really long time and I've been really enjoying them lately. So one of the meals I was most excited about for that day was dinner because in one of our videos, she had club sandwiches, which is definitely in my top five favorite foods of all time. I love club sandwiches. They are so, so good. And when I saw that she had had a club sandwich in one of her videos, I'm like, yes, I can do that. I'm gonna do that for dinner. So we had club sandwiches that day and it was just basically sprouted bread, toasted, uh, bacon, chicken, tomato, lettuce, and mayo. And it was so, so good. You can't go wrong with a club sandwich. I was also super pumped for dessert because Linda often has ice cream for dessert. And I'm not someone who thinks of ice cream as something to have often. So I don't often eat it. And I was really excited that day to have some ice cream for dessert. So I told my husband who was out that evening for something else that he should stop at Dairy Queen and get us a treat. And he ended up getting a Smarties Treats of Pizza. 
and it was so, so good. I'm not gonna lie, we divided it in half and ate it all that night because why not? Like we both really wanted some ice cream and it was so, so good. It made me think of all the times that like Linda will basically finish a pint of ice cream in one sitting and because of her, I just feel like I didn't feel bad about eating the whole thing. So what I learned from eating like Linda Sun for a day, well, there's a few things. One of the things is that she's really balanced in her meals and her days. So she eats fruits, vegetables, carbs, protein, fat, everything in one day. It's always really balanced. And she just eats what she really wants, what her body wants. And I think that's a really admirable thing. It's something that a lot of people have a hard time with. I know that I do. And I think we can definitely learn from that. Just eat what you want. Just eat what your body and mind wants that day. And I think it's all gonna balance out. And that's kind of what I learned. You know, that day I had some ice cream and I had a couple of snacks and the next day I wanted more proteins and vegetables. So if you listen to your body, I feel like it balances itself out on its own and you don't really have to think about it. I also realized that she just loves good food, food that makes her happy. And I think we can all learn from that and realize that there's no bad food. Cheat day, cheat meal, the word cheat shouldn't really exist in diet culture. I feel like it's just so detrimental. But the thing that I learned from her is that you just need to enjoy the food that you're eating and like move on and not think about it too, too much. One of my goals in 2021 is to switch from calorie deficit to intuitive eating. And I feel like just by doing this day of intuitive eating and watching a lot of Linda Sun's videos, I feel like I'm closer and closer to getting there. And that's a really exciting thing. I am taking her as an example and I hope that by the end of 2021, I can say that I'm eating intuitively. All in all, I give this what I eat in a day a 9.5 out of 10. I feel like the 0.5 is just because the pancakes were great, which isn't her fault. And also, I don't know, I just feel like for me, it's not what I would typically eat in a day. And also, there's always room for improvement. So that's why I gave it a 9.5. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you want to subscribe, please do. I post new videos every four days. And if you want to leave me a comment, I answer every single one of your comments. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.